Hi Leo, so I feel like you are having some type of a grand awakening with the Fool card. You are breaking free from something that was taking your energy. So imagine Leo that you were in a relationship with someone that was not good for you but for t um, time and time again you kept um, just being into this person, being a fool for this person and then you're finally realizing like this is not good for me. You're having a wake up call. So it's like you're having a wake up call from within yourself. Like I have not been true to myself. I have not been self loving for real. Like, like whoa, like for real. All this time I was really not choosing myself and loving myself. Like whoa. And I think this is something that is happening because something has been taking place time and time again. I think white, like a white eyeliner would look cool right here. I may try that. Mm -hmm. you're, right, you're about to start putting yourself first. It is about to be unbelievable for someone. It's like you just wake up one day and you're not doing certain things anymore. Like you're not, you're not going, you're not trying to please this person. You're not going out to try to please this person. You're like, you're just gonna lay in your bed. You're not gonna go make breakfast for this person today. That's the energy. Someone is shocked because they thought that you were like weak for them. I'm telling you, someone thought that that's how into them you were. I don't know what struck you. It could be a grandmother energy, but this person just you. Some just down on you. <laughs> They're your first guy. The three of swords. Mm -hmm. I'm serious, so I just said and these are your March 1st the 7th tarot card messages Leo it's like you're realizing the truth of yourself I kind of knew it was gonna start hard the three of swords is realization acceptance it's also you becoming aware of yourself where you stand the three of swords is a third party energy the three of swords is sadness and like realizing the truth mm -hmm. So even though it's sadness, it's also powerful. It's one of my favorite cards because it's like you're having a somber, deep realization that deep realization of yourself where it could hurt you, but instead you're making it make you more powerful. You could be packing your bags. You could be packing someone's bag. You could be moving away from a relationship or you could be deciding to treat yourself to something. And it, whatever this is, it's going to be surprising to some people. Alright, so you could be deciding, you know what, I'm going to spend my money on ice cream today. And other people are like, whoa, aren't you going to like use that money for dinner? Inst you know, because normally you could be the responsible one that's taking care of everything and taking care of everyone. It's like you're, it's like with the full card, you're deciding to, you're being unpredictable and you're putting yourself first. It's going to make people open their eyes at you like, whoa. I think this also has to do with your confidence. I feel like there are people that thought that they were intimidating you or you had a low self-esteem or you didn't love yourself or you had you were overcome with anxiety because you were afraid of people or whatever. Maybe that's the idea you had of yourself. This is also giving me Leo um, self-acceptance about your own beauty. Like you're going to do something that people would people thought that you wouldn't have done because they thought that you thought about yourself in a particular way but your mind is changing your life is changing you are introducing self-love into your vibration and it is, it is good you're choosing you march 1st to march 7th exactly you're real i'm just getting you're realizing that someone was true to you and you have to let go off of something something or someone and it could be a home, a place that you live. You could be moving. And it could be a person. And you know, all in all, this could be a person's energy that is reflecting about you. That is realizing that they made a bad decision, Leo. And they um, they feel sad. Yeah, I hear puppy. Puppy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. There's someone that is feeling sad that they didn't choose you, they ha that they have to pack their suitcases and go because there was some cheating going on or someone was unfaithful. Someone has got to go. Someone was cheating and lying and they, you found out and then um, you confronted them and they, they couldn't deny it but they were trying to say, please don't go, please don't do this but I feel you put your foot down. 
the two of diamonds someone who was trying to juggle in a relationship someone who was telling lies about even their their responsibilities maybe the amount of children they have the amount of money they have like they were t trying to sell you some a dream but they really couldn't do it and maybe you found text messages leo maybe you found some text messages hidden in someone's phone what they were doing who they were communicating with and it broke your heart too so i feel like you started to put yourself up front maybe you stopped arguing with this person for some of you this is not necessarily a person this is a, a place that you were working or people you were somehow sharing your time and energy with people you were investing with people you were believing in i'm also getting for you leo that there are good people around you that you are working with people that you're people at so you're, you're gonna leave some things behind to fully um collaborate and work with good energies people that are in alignment with you whether this is a love connection or work mm -hmm. so you're gonna and you're gonna be happy to move on even though leaving that past energy is a little bit sad you still feel good to 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 move into a new environment or new money or new relationships you know yeah, seven of swords is next. Something about your daddy, something about your Capricorn, something about spilling or spelling and they were telling lies on you and maybe spells as well. You're having breakthroughs and a lot of truths being realized and spoken and you just now know where you stand, Leo, in this vibration. And I feel love for you. You could be wearing heels or you're stepping up, you're putting yourself out there. Um, there are also the energy of people that did not believe in you making a nice, bold move they didn't think you have the willpower or whatever it took to step into something and make moves so you're out you're realizing that too you're realizing that someone did not give you the truth you could be packing your bags so we have the star card it's giving me sunshine um maybe you saw something online or you're getting a lot of attention maybe in your community um there's something about evidence or something about someone stealing something you're getting also in a wish fulfillment like a dream come true the moon card for sure like there you were right to do something to trust in your instincts and to separate from something someplace or someone and to go in another direction towards something else because there were hidden enemies around you and these could be people that were close to you. People that were close to you, they also pretended like they didn't want to hide for, hide anything from you. But like they were pretending like, oh, I wish that I didn't have to do this. But yeah. And I, I also feel someone messing with your dreams. You could be dealing with a Taurus. It has something to do with money. Or I hear cascades or building. Yeah so there's some things that you know that you've been suspecting this is a confirmation so now you know sila like this is the truth leo okay someone sold you out in some way like someone would have given you up um like information on you it, it, you're gonna be separated from some people or places and things you're just finding out the truth that something or someone or some place was really just not serving you i hear idly and they've been watching you, spying on you too, taking information on you, and even trying to lessen your money. It wasn't serving you, so you're separating yourself from this. You could be withdrawing your money from a bank, closing a, an account, or something like that. But I do feel confident in knowing that whatever you're going toward is good. It's good energy for you. So mystery and some... There, you're going to meet up on some things. You may go down, you may be moving at night in some way. But you're gonna be okay. Trust your instincts. Alright. Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is you being disciplined, militant, having great vision into the future. You're a seer. You're naturally gifted. You could be moving waters. You're telling a lot of truth. Your voice is powerful. You make a lot of moves. Six of Wands exactly i hear effortless too i feel money moving into your vibration you could be good at marketing um teamwork you know that things that that manifest easy for you you get things done when you say you're gonna get them done so if you've been feeling a bit slowed down in some way shape or form um 
maybe it's your environment or it has something to do with your water or your belief in yourself so if your faith was tested you're going to be proven to to be true and you may have felt like you were doing a lot of things on your own yes you you were and you're pulling it through there's something about a father energy for you beautiful soul and you look so beautiful naturally you're getting compliments and highlights oh my god you're about to find love as well or peace and harmony and satisfaction on your journey yin yang energy you could be getting married and there's something about a daddy or a dolly you had a lot of snakes you know hidden enemies even people that were close to you that pretended that they cared about you you're finding out that you're in your own league and there's there's this land of promised energy that is for you like because the most high has been watching over you and has seen you i feel like you feel like you've been ostracized or misunderstood and so there's a playland or a playground that is just it's so rich and peaceful it's like um you know Mike, the world that michael jackson created like a never land for you is the vibration and you're the only one there is the energy it's, and it's and and except most high that's above watching over you that is like oh my child come enjoy fulfill yourself it's like getting a treat yes a treat just for you beautiful soul that is being granted because most high has, has seen the road that you've been traveling on and knows your heart too your spirit and knows like this just, just wants to treat you with all the goodies like imagine you're at a carnival you may be traveling somewhere <laughs> You may be going out like at a carnival or something where you're gonna find like at, like a festival or something a, a pop-up shop a mar flea market we're gonna find some treats and food and you're gonna be wearing a nice dress and you're gonna feel confident and cool and you're gonna have money and there's gonna be music there i like it so much you may go alone or with someone i hear branch so you could be branching out ten of cups yeah and your dreams are coming true um for some home some business some love successes in your life beautiful soul ten of cups energy fulfillment there's love in your life breakthroughs imagine you were in um a, some dark time but you made it through a clearing in the forest okay so i love you wheel of fortune is on the bottom of the deck so your march 1st to 7th is about your luck your fortune your gifts your treasures your inheritances your glow up and you're, you're touring you could be tourist traveling um but i you could be doing it single alone but, but i still feel like you're also collaborating with spirits or people or kindness and I just love the energy that you'll be in in spring. It's a beautiful energy too. So much love to you. You're taking your time and rebuilding and taking your power back, making your pentacles back, making connections again. I love you so very much. I feel like Leo is the energy. Something about your birthday. The Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands is so special. It's like I said, a whole treat, a whole ride, a whole joy. Everything is being prepared for you moment after moment. You know, like I said, imagine it is a fun house or you could be going to the islands and there's just so much goodies. A lot of everything that you like, coconut and jackfruit and almond and eye candy and everything that you like. You know, beautiful energy. Take it easy out there. All is well and all is within you. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing.